Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So let's do a kinematics problem today, as suggested by some of our viewers. And I'll be posting more such problems in coming weeks. And the toughness for the problem will increase from here. Okay, so today's problem is simple one, but it's an interesting problem. And it gives you some concept how to tackle little twisted problems that people ask in uh, IDJ advanced level. Okay. So there is a boat which is being rowed with a velocity u directly across the river of width a. So let's say this is the river of width a. Let's say the velocity is u which is given directly across the river. Okay. And it is also given that the velocity of current is directly proportional to the product of the distances from the two banks. Okay. And then we need to find the path of the boat the curve OB that we see and the distance downstream to the point where it lands on the other side of. So we need to also find the distance D. So let's say boat starts from O and it lands at B. Okay. So we need to find path of the boat. Okay. And distance D. These two things. What is given is the U which is always across the river for the boat. So let's consider a point P. Okay. And let's take this axis as X and this one as Y. So the coordinate for P is X and Y. If suppose this is the origin, the starting point. Okay. So what is the velocity of current? Velocity of the current is directly proportional to the distances from the two banks. So what is the distance from the two banks here? So this one is y, then this one is a minus y. Okay, so it will be some constant k, y and a minus y. Okay, and velocity of current is in x direction always. So we can write it as dx by dt. And what is the velocity of boat? Of the boat. So it is u and it is in y direction because it is always across the river. So we can say this is dy by dt. Therefore, we can write dy by dx as dy by dt into dt by dx and this will be u divided by k y a minus y. Okay, so this is the equation of the path, right? Equation of the path of boat. Okay, now let's find the y. Let's find the equation in terms of y only, y and x. Okay, so we need to solve this differential equation. So let's expand this little bit. So we can write it like y a minus y dy is equal to u by k dx. Right, I just took y a minus y on this side. And if we integrate this, Okay, then we'll get a y square by 2 minus y q by 3 equal to u by k x and some constant c. Okay, so we need to find the c also. So that's easy. When um, x is 0, then we have y also 0. Therefore, we have C also 0. Okay. Equation of the path we can write in terms of x and y as x equal to k 6 u y square 3 a minus 2 y. Okay. So this is the equation in terms of x and y. Now, we need to find the drift. So for drift, 
x equal to d, y would be a, right? So therefore, we can get d equal to k by 6 u a square 3 a minus 2 a, okay? Therefore, d equal to k a q by 6 u. Okay, so this is the drift. Okay, now you might be wondering why are we not finding out k? Okay, so the question is how do we find k? I leave this to your exercise. Think about it. What extra information is needed or what should be supplied apart from all these data points or within this data point, how do you think we can compute k? Okay, so this is something that you should try it out and uh, send me your comments, your response, your answer and I'll be happy to respond as soon as possible. Okay, so please like the video and do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in IIT, JE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.